Come on! If we hurry, we can get there before the paper's even delivered to Rarity's house. Maybe she won't read the article. I'm pretty sure Rarity's gonna read a review of her new boutique in Manhattan. I still can't believe we all just blabbed everything that happened to that reporter. I just hope it doesn't end up being an article about how her friends almost ruined the opening. I think you're all overreacting. Rarity's our friend. If any pony is gonna understand, it'll be her. I was wondering when all of you were going to show up. <gasps> now we can all read the review together! Um, I have an idea. How about we don't read it? What she means is, before you read it, we should probably tell you about... No, no, darling. Please, no spoilers. But... No spoilers! Ready to hear what I'm sure is a stellar review that describes in stunning detail exactly how each of you contributed to the successful opening of Rarity for you? <laughs> Many a pony has tried their hoof at joining the ranks of the elite fashion trendsetters currently ensconced in the boutiques of Manhattan's famed Saddle Row. <laughs> Some might say it's the ultimate achievement in equestrian fashion, and never before has a reporter been granted such unfettered, behind-the-scenes access until now! I wish it had been more fettered. Oh, uh, I sat down with <laughs> Rarity and her friends after the opening to get the inside scoop. And what a scoop it was! Okay, Kit, you successfully opened a shop in Manhattan, and that's no mean feat. Most ponies might wonder what it feels like. Here's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna interview you and your friends so I can paint a picture of how it all came together. A word picture, mind you, not an actual picture. Any questions? Well, I was wondering how... Let's get started! Ms. Rarity, you got shops all over Equestria, but this was your first time trying to make it in the big city. What made you think you could tackle it on your own? Well, I wouldn't say all over Equestria. I just have two other boutiques, one in my hometown of Ponyville and one in Cantalot. Uh, still, when I decided to open this one, I was nothing but confident. Let's just say that if I could choose, I probably wouldn't do it that way again. Funnest party ever? It was a plum puckered pig pushing disaster. After a lifetime of awesome, I think every pony's allowed to mess up every now and then, right? Wait, are you writing this down? Um, it didn't go exactly how I thought it would, but it, um, started out alright.